I'm Art Fleming, here at the Rotunda in Dearborn, Michigan. And I'd like you to listen in and look over the shoulders of some 100 safety experts from all over the country who are about to arrive here for an unusual safety forum. Some time ago, Cornell University established a research center devoted to safety and transportation. And one of their prime concerns has been auto crash injuries and what could be done to prevent or at least lessen them. This year, something is being done, something resulting from this research, something practical, something available to us, the public. A very real forward step is being taken in the automobile industry. But right now, here come the safety experts, so let's go along with them and learn about it. These are some of Cornell's general findings. This is John Moore, Director of Automobile Crash Injury Research of Cornell University Medical College. First, we find that the automobile package is a relatively safe structure. Our data indicate that ejection from the car more than doubles the risk of moderate through fatal grades of injury. This finding destroys the theory that it's safer to be thrown clear. About 40% of all the injured drivers are hurt by the steering wheel assembly. Approximately 38% of the passengers in the right and center front seats are injured by the instrument panel in these injury-producing accidents. 4% of the individuals seated in the front in injury-producing accidents are hurt when they strike the rearview mirror. Now to the laboratory to meet Alex L. Haynes, executive engineer of the Ford Motor Company. Consider an accident 45 miles per hour at the moment of impact. The unrestrained driver... Unrestrained driver? What yeah, do you mean by that? That's uh, the, the driver who does not use a belt. He's oh, not tied down to the structure of the car. Mm -hmm. The unrestrained driver, he's traveling as a projectile through the car at 45 miles per hour. That's mm -hmm. the original speed of the car. The car is slowing down during this time and the wheel part of the car is traveling perhaps 33 miles per hour. The relative speed... Relative speed, now that's a new term. Yeah, that's the difference between the speed of the driver's chest and the speed of the steering wheel. 45 minus 33, mm -hmm. 12 miles per hour. So in other words, the driver is going at a faster rate of speed than the car itself. Yeah, that's exactly right. Now uh, this pendulum here, you see, this weighs about the average weight of a driver, 167 pounds. Mm -hmm. We're gonna swing this into the st steering wheel here at 15 miles per hour. Right. Lift up the hoist, please, and let's step back. Right. Now let's try this in slow motion. This is what happens to a conventional wheel. Notice, at the moment of impact, the rim breaks away and the full weight of the driver's chest, of the driver actually, is carried by this small area over this hub. This becomes a lethal instrument, it's a spear. That's what hurts the driver. We literally tried hundreds of different types of wheels before we arrived at the one that was acceptable. Let's see what happens. Now in slow motion. Well, here's what happened to this wheel. This is a safety wheel. The driver's chest struck this rim, and then the whole weight of the driver was carried by this rim and, and spoke combination, and it absorbed energy as the spokes bent and yielded out of the way. But notice the important thing. The, the driver's chest never did strike this hub, this small area of the hub. That's well, important. All right, now, what would happen to a driver who is wearing a safety belt? Well, then the condition would be even better because then the driver would only be, the driver's chest would only be carrying one third to one half of the driver's weight because the rest of the driver or the lower part of his body would be carried by the floor structure through the belt. Here's a door with a safety door latch. Try this, pull this door now. Now I'll, I'll impose the stress as I did before. Pull. Well, it doesn't open at all. All right, now open it as you would a regular door. Well, what did that? Well, the safety door latch. 
This rotor engages behind the lock plate on the striker element of the lock. It engages like this. It keeps the pillar from springing away from the door. Now tell me, uh, how is all this research we've seen here today applied in practical use? Come with me. <clears throat> Incidentally, this car has the safety door lock. I see, and also the brand new safety belt. Yeah. Hit that cushion, strike the, punch that cushion, will you, that instrument panel. Punch it, punch it hard. That's it, that's our crash padding that we have on our instrument panels. And also the cushioning on the sun visor. Yes, that's right. Take a look at that safety rear view mirror. All right. Let's see, what is it? The new steering wheel also. Yeah. That's this automobile has everything. Yeah, it has the new devices, the so-called safety devices. Now let's see how these devices actually work in a staged and, con and controlled, a real controlled crash. All let's right. Go on. Are we ready? Okay, Dick, let's go. Here is the same crash in slow motion. This is the crashing car. Let's take a look inside that car. All right. I noticed that fire dummy, too, has his head on the dashboard. Yes, and uh, this new type cushioning on that dashboard probably reduced the uh, injury on this dummy, and also it uh, reduced the uh, facial lacerations that usually occurs in this type of accident. I see. And notice this wheel. Uh -huh. This wheel probably saved the dummy's chest and probably saved the dummy from severe injury because of the recessed hub. Notice that. That's very interesting. You know, with all this uh, wreckage here, I'm going to try this door, see if it opens and closes. It opens all right. And it closes very well, too. You know, I'm very impressed with all the work being done on automobile crash safety. Yes, we think we've made a good beginning. We, there's still some, a lot of work to be done, and of course, we intend to continue. But there's still one thing I'd like you to see this afternoon. Let's go over to the st Stalling Rotunda, and uh, let's see what's over there. Fine. This must be an important announcement because Henry Ford II is addressing the group himself. We at Ford Motor Company feel a particular gratitude to the Automobile Crash Injury Research Project of Cornell University Medical College. Through its statistical sampling and its analysis of injuries to people involved in automobile crashes, the Cornell group, along with others, has helped us materially in setting up our own crash injury research program and the developing of our safety equipment designed to reduce injuries in event of an accident. I am most happy, therefore, to present at this time $200,000 to Cornell University so that this vital program may be expanded. Furthermore, we wish to announce that all of the pioneer safety features and the specifications and design of those features developed by Ford Motor Company are to be made available to any automobile company that wants them. We also will release any and all information which has been developed through our new research program in the crash injury field. And such is our report for this year on what is being done here. It is a bold and significant step. Its aim is your safety, you the driver, and you the passenger.